What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and in today's video we are going to be joining a competition. CCXRC and RC Amigos are having a competition called Tiny Gap in It Build Off. And um, basically, Tiny Gap in It Build Off is you get an Enduro 24, I ended up getting, and you drag race it in a 90 foot by 12 foot area to try to get the top fastest speed out of it. And apparently, you got to stop before the 90 foot area. Um, which in drag racing, really in realistic drag racing, you drive that quarter mile, you drag race that quarter mile, and once you hit that quarter mile, of course you have time to stop because you're going to be past that quarter mile. Um, but in this drag race, you have to stop before the 90 foot, or by the 90 foot, you have to stop. Um, so they, uh, decided to do this competition where you get an Enduro 24 like I got here which I want to thank Hobby Recreation Product for having this available uh, HobbyRecreationProducts.com for having it avail available the deadline for Tiny Gap and it built off was actually March 13th but they extended the deadline to March 27th which is great for me for the main fact that now I can join in on the competition and see what I can do with this thing and try to get a good run out of it. Um, so, from what I remember, the specs on these things uh, for the tiny gap in it build off, you are allowed to have it either all wheel drive, rear wheel drive, front wheel drive, whatever you may choose. Um, you got to use some part of the chassis the body you do not have to use you can choose whatever body you want to use but the chassis the enduro 24 chassis you have to use i think it's like 50 percent of it or 50 percent of the body has to cover the chassis so you can make it longer you can make it a little wider um i believe it's six inches wide that you're allowed to make it and a max of 12 feet 12 inches long. 12 feet long would be kind of <laughs> kind of ridiculous. But um so yeah, they're so they're doing that and I decided to join in on the competition. So here we have the Enduro 24. Um of course, I'm going to open this while I'm talking to you guys. So of course, you do need some type of measurement for um speed measurement for this thing to see how fast you're going uh, and the 90 feet. So I ended up ordering, on top of ordering this, I don't know why I didn't get it. I'm gonna have to get a hold of uh, Hobby Recreation Products and find out what the deal is. But I did order also the um, the thing, the check the, the, the GNSS, whatever it's called. I did order that also, but apparently it did not come in yet. So we're going to go on ahead, we're going to open this up, uh, it's already open actually, <laughs> alright just open it up, we're going to take it out of the box, we're going to check it out, and we're going to start working on this thing. Alright guys, so just took this thing out of the box, and uh, from what I can see inside this thing, so it's like, if anybody has seen, and I'll, I guarantee a lot of people have seen the uh, Enduro 24 unboxings, and the inside of it looks like a tiny little garage, which is awesome. I really do like that. I really do like that. I'm going to end up keeping this. Keep this as the uh, garage for this thing. So, here she is in all her... Well, here she is in all her glory. And uh, what my one biggest thing about this is uh, from what I have seen and I have been wanting to get this Enduro 24 for a while because from what I remember seeing pictures and everything, 
basically this Enduro 24 here is actually the exact same as the RGT 136240. So the EC, ESC might be different. There might be a couple things that are different. I don't know, but that's not what this video is about. We're basically gonna be ripping this apart and we're gonna be making this little dry car. So again, a lot of you have seen the unboxing on these things. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with the unboxing. I'm just gonna start taking stuff out and just go that route. Instead of boring you guys with the whole unboxing thing because guaranteed a lot of you guys have seen the unboxing on these things. Um, I will do a little bit of comparison wise. So tire wise, the tires seem to look exactly the same. This is the RGT tire and of course the Element Enduro. So the tires look to be exactly the same tread. The wheels, yes, are different. As you guys can see, the wheels are different. Um, again, I'm not gonna to go too much into it. I just wanna get this thing out and basically start. So that's everything out of here. Throw that in the trash box. The controller for this thing if I can find the controller for the RGT. Give me a second. There we go. So, the controller for the Enduro 24 is from what I can tell is basically, and I do mean basically the exact same. So this is for the RGT and this one is for the Enduro 24 and <laughs> Guys, basically the exact same thing. Uh, the way the battery goes in is exactly the same way for the uh, Enduro 24 and the RGT. Battery goes in the exact same way for the controller. So we got got that going for us. Luckily, I'm not going to have to write down which one goes to what. Because as you guys can see there, whoa, as you guys can see there, there is the team associated emblem, emblem, markings, logo. There you go. That's what I was looking That's the word I was looking for. I was looking for logo. <laughs> and as you guys can see, the RGT does not have any logos at all. So for me to figure out which one is for which will be easy to find out because one has a logo for the Enduro, the other one does not. So I'll put that to the side, put this to the side. So here we go. Again, the Enduro 24 does bring two body posts. So it brings a body post that's hiding right, right there. There's another one here on the front and it brings your battery charger for this thing. The battery is already in this thing and I gotta say you guys, check this out. I do happen to like it. Real base, compared to the RGT, they, the Enduro is actually, hopefully you guys can see that, the Enduro is actually a little bit longer than the RGT. They look like they sit about the same height. Wheels are about the same height. So they look like they're sitting at about the same. So let's move the RGT out of the way. Video, by the way, the video for the RGT is coming out soon for that rock climbing joined with the C10 and the Gladiator, which we will be conquering that boulder with the RGT. Let's get back to the Enduro. So, here we go guys. Let's get these pins off. 
this here to the side. Body clips, take them off. And here, let's do a little comparison of the Enduro 24 with the RGT. So basically, on this thing, as you guys can tell in the back, the battery basically sits in the same position here. The ESC, completely different ESC um, compared to the RGT, completely the same, different ESC. The transfer case here, same thing. And then you have your front mounted motor, front mounted motor, front mounted servo, front mounted servo. Transmission and everything all seems to be the same. Again, this is the Enduro. There goes the battery. This is the Enduro 24, and this is the RGT. And as you guys can tell, the Enduro 24 is a slight hair longer, but basically, RGT Enduro 24. They are about the exact same. Which, not so bad. <laughs> not so bad. So anybody that's looking, anything from the, uh, I believe, anything parts-wise for the Enduro 24, they looking for the RGT, they should probably work, I'm guessing. But, uh... Again, that's just me guessing. Anyway, let's get back to this. So, the one main thing I'm gonna be doing with this, I'm thinking that I am going to continue with the motor up front. There's a couple guys, I know Tony from CCXRC, he is using a Axial SCX24 Basic SCX24, not basic, but you know what I mean. <laughs> He's basically using the SCX24 um, transmission on it with a uh, Charisma motor, I believe, um, and a completely different ESC. I might end up using this ESC where I might end up switching out the ESC and the motor. More than likely, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go brushless on this thing. So again, you are able to go... I just have to test this out. <laughs> so you are able to go with either a brushless... I just want to show. I, I, I'm just doing this. But um, you're able to go brushless with these things for the competition. Uh, more than likely, that's the route I'm also going to go. I'm also going to go brushless. So, um, I have figured out what body. I was thinking about using this body for the drag race. But, I found something else. I found something that will, uh, I think, work a little bit better for this. If I can only find a body. Okay, <laughs> so I already chose the body that I'm going to be using for this. And the body that I found that I'm going to be using for this chassis is actually going to be this right here. So if you guys can see, we got a Mopar, we got a Dodge Viper. I'm going to be using a Dodge Viper body for this chassis for this build. The one thing that I want to do is try to get this chassis as low as possible. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. So I'm not going to leave it like this. 
it's not going to be how it's, it's, this is not how it's going to stay. I am going to leave the wheel length the way it is. Um, with the wheelbase, I'm sorry. I am going to leave the wheelbase the way it is. I haven't even tested this thing out. haven't even done anything with it. Literally just unboxed it and I'm basically going to use it as a drag car. Tire wise, I don't even think they came in yet, but tire wise, I believe we are allowed to use two inch max, two inch max tires. Um, so tire wise, what I am going to do, I um, ordered some SCX 24 wheels, not these, but I ordered some wheels for an SCX 24 that what I'm going to do is something a little different than what a lot of people are doing. I have been looking around trying to find tires for these things, uh, wheels and drag slicks per se for this, and I can't find anything. There's a, um, a site that Tony from CCXRC actually got his wheels from, and I'll post a picture here to see what wheels he got. And I went to go get those same wheels and he didn't have any in stock. So I figured I would come up with my own sets of tires and wheels to try to make this work. So that's what I'm going to do. The first thing that I want to do here is get this chassis down a little bit lower try to get these springs a little bit stiffer uh, I don't want it too I, that's not really going to work for drag racing I, I want it to be a little bit stiffer I am going to leave this thing four wheel drive for the competition um, I might have to, er, I might have to move the servo on this for the body to properly sit on here. I also got to do a little cutting too, as I can tell, but I'm going to have to do a little uh, cutting here because this body has to go like there. So I got some work to do. <laughs> as you guys can tell and I just wanted to let you guys know what I am going to be doing so Enduro 24 uh, tiny gap in it build off we are going to be competing in it um, you can't use anything more than I believe it's a 60 amp I think it's a 60 amp ESC or 40 amp, yeah, 40 amp ESC. You can't use anything more than that for this. Um, but you just got to try to go fast, as fast as possible in a 90 foot by 12 foot area. So with that being said, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we are at right now. And that's where we're at. So I am going to be working on this thing and we're going to join this competition <laughs> and see if we can uh, try to beat anybody. So guys, that's all I got for today. And uh, in the next video will be more upgrades that are being done to this. So without further ado, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hope to see you guys in another video. You guys all have a good one and keep our seeing.